Well, good morning, and welcome to another online worship opportunity with the community of Faith of Alamance Lutheran Church here in Alamance, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Pastor Ron Philippop. You know, it is possible to hear in Jesus' high priestly prayer, a prayer that he offered shortly before his death, the petitions of the ascended Christ for his own throughout history to our day and beyond. Jesus prays for us. In holy baptism, we become believers in God and have our robes washed in the flood of Christ's forgiveness and receive the gift of life forever with all the saints. So please, join us as we engage in worship to our risen Lord. Please join me in bowing our heads, asking God to bless our ears to listen to this message and our hearts to receive it, so that we might be fortified disciples to go and share what God wants us to do and to say. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, for you are indeed our rock and our fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Amen. Well, when each of us were confirmed, we chose a verse that was foundational to our beliefs, and we had to explain to the pastor why it impacted us in that way. Well, mine was from this morning's second lesson, from the 22nd chapter of Revelation, the 13th verse. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Some of my fellow confirmands chose verses for a variety of reasons, and some just because they were really short and easy to remember. However, I can share with you that here we have Jesus telling us with a simple sentence that I will paraphrase in this way. Look, everything begins and ends with me. So what if our day began and ended with a conversation with Jesus? What would that do for the peace within us? Would we sleep better? Would our diet be any different and one day slimmer? Would the wrinkles fall from our face and look youthful again with long flowing hair of our youth? Nope, <laughs> that is not at all what Jesus promises. Jesus continues on verse 14 and following, blessed are those who wash their robes so that they will have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city by the gates. And let everyone who hears say, come. And let everyone who is thirsty, come. Let anyone who wishes to take the water of life as a gift, the one who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Now note, the key word here is come. Jesus doesn't want us to sit still and watch. He keeps inviting us to come. What makes us hesitant to come into a church that we haven't been in in a while due to, well, maybe the pandemic or otherwise? Maybe we just have had a disagreement with the church or God in general or the people inside the church or maybe we just fell out of practice of active worship or never went to church at all. Whatever it may be, we gain strength by laying all the reasons aside and to come Come to the cross of Jesus, the cross where Jesus hung for our sins. And Jesus invites us to come together every week where we become one in the Spirit. We celebrate 
our beginning each year on our birthdays, don't we? And we know that one day we will face the end of our lives on this planet and enter into a life eternal with Jesus. So let us encourage one another in our walk of life by coming together each week to celebrate that Jesus is the Alpha, the Omega of our lives. Amen.